In today's little demo, we're going to explore titration curves. There's three types of curves that we're going to explore today. The first titration curve, we're going to have a strong acid, HCl, titrate it with a strong base, sodium hydroxide. From the data collected, we're going to graph the pH on the y-axis, and on the x-axis, we'll have volume of sodium hydroxide added. Once we've plotted the graph, we'll be able to find the midpoint of the graph. Now remember, the midpoint is the approximate middle of the most vertical section of the graph. You'll know what I mean once you graph it. Now, to do this titration and measure the pHs, we're going to use a pH meter. What we've done is we've set up a pH probe and it's connected to a beautiful meter here. Now what I, I'll do is I'll do a little close up and notice the starting pH when zero mils of sodium hydroxide are added is a pH of one. Now, what we'll do is we'll add five mils of sodium hydroxide at a time. And I'm just gonna turn this over so I can see it and do the readings. Now every five mils, we're gonna record the pH. Now because this is gonna take a whole bunch of time, and I don't wanna to spend too much time because the procedure is quite simple. Add five mils, take the pH. Add five mils, take the pH. We're gonna do it approximately till we get to a pH of near 13. In other words, the pH of a strong base, somewhere between 12 and 14. That's gonna be our finish point. Let's just start. Our starting volume is 10 mils. In other words, zero mils of sodium hydroxide added, pH of one. We're gonna go ahead and add five mils. Now remember, you don't have to hurry. Do it nice and slow. Nice and slow, there we go. We've added five mils. Now let's just read the pH reading. We'll notice the pH is 1.18. Let's just stir and make sure that it's mixed and do the reading again. One point one eight. What we do is we add another five mils. There we go. Once again, we do the second reading. And now we've added, remember, not five mils. We've now added 10 mils, so we take a pH reading. We're gonna add in five mil increments, right up to 50 mils of sodium hydroxide added. Now I'll provide all of the information after my little demo in a table. I'll also provide you with the data and ask you to make some graphs of a strong base, sodium hydroxide, added to a weak acid. And I'll be using acetic acid. We'll add a strong base to a weak acid. We'll draw the titration curve, find the midpoints. And thirdly, I'm going to take a weak base and titrate it with a strong acid. I'll also ask you to graph that titration curve and find the midpoints.